Hello Aries, this is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration here for your March 2019 reading. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, and Rising. So if this does not resonate with your Sun, these are general readings. Um, you know, feel free as I put up the other signs to look at your Moon and your rising sign if this is your first time here welcome to the channel thank you so much for stopping by um please consider liking subscribing and sharing this video should you find something that resonates with you also if you are a returning or a frequent flyer well buckle up honey because you know this could be just a wild wild ride but for everyone we're here to help you lead a spirit-led whole and healed peaceful and prosperous life so let's see what we've got here I think we're gonna pull one more card for you guys I am using the star child tarot deck for you guys for the general reading I like to let you know which deck I'm using and we'll see where it goes from here one more card please We've got the card cam happening down there. Love. Perfect. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, this is awesome for you, Aries. Coming into March, we have the awakening card, so there's going to be a lot illuminated to you guys this month. I can guarantee it. With the Seven of Cups, I do believe you're going to have lots of choices to make. Um, some, good, some are better than others, right, for you to do. Um, but... If you remain spirit-led, I believe you'll make all the right choices. And then we also have the Nine of Cups. So by the end of the month, I should think that you'd be quite pleased with where you're at overall. Emotionally quite satisfied with that Nine of Cups. Rather independent. Um, a lot of self-healing happening for you this month in March. Aries, lots of self-healing happening for you this month. I believe it's going to be quite significant for you. This should be very interesting. And then we also have, on the bottom of the deck, overall energy, the Queen of Wands as well. So lots of good self-esteem, self-healing, self-partnering. I just feel you guys really rising into your own as if you, did, you needed some extra. But I really feel like you guys are going to be rising into your own energy here coming into this month now coming towards you this month and don't get like crazy about this we have the oppression card this would be normally the death card in the regular tarot let's get some clarification on that card i apologize guys at the time of this recording it's been a very very long uh weekend for me and week energetically so I do apologize for that let's see what's happening with the oppression card sometimes I hear it better when I'm tired anyway yeah ace of swords so I'm really looking at this as more transformation the next is necessarily any toxicity or anything like that um actually that's the devil card not um death excuse me that's the devil card which would be Capricorn energy um so Rather than toxicity, I see that you're really with the Ace of Swords. Um, this is a new way of thinking. <coughs> I feel like coming towards you this month, much like with the Pisces reading, you're going to be able, and I think this is for the collective as well, you know, we're really going to be able to identify toxic ways of being, thinking, living, breathing um, in our own self and how we view the world um and we'll be able to do something about it finally it's like we're finally coming into this place of power within ourselves and we've done so much work and these roots these and um, that's why the awakening card is there and then coming into like a really positive self-partnered um time in our lives by the end of this month i mean we've got some significant things happening mercury retrograde in pisces 
Um, we have the new moon coming in on the 5th, the same day, I believe Mercury goes into retrograde. And then we also have the last lunar eclipse, full moon, well, super moon on the 19th of March. That's the last one in the trilogy and the last one until 2020. So there's a lot of very powerful, introspective, intuitive energies that are just flowing around. And the manifestation possibilities are absolute, like through the roof. So Aries, though, especially for you, this is going to be a little bit more of a struggle because this time period right now that we're entering into is going to be a time period where there's a fire energy that's in retrograde in an intuitive water sign and the ultimate in water sign. So this is really like the ultimate, like, eh, like Mars could be in retrograde and that would just be like absolute craziness for you guys um you're gonna want to go push 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 you're gonna want to make quick guide quick moves quick choices all of these things and the neptunian energy is going to hold you back and uh it's going to be like yeah you know just let it ride let it ride um but on the other hand you're going to be like no this person was a jerk um watch it watch what you manifest watch your feelings watch your thoughts watch your emotions during this time period uh, it's going to have some severe ramifications for you as we're going forward into the next year this i mean it, these snap decisions if you choose to make snap decisions and not heed this warning it's not probably going to be good for you so just letting you know now yeah so here we have um what you're bringing to the table is the three of swords we've had some disappointments Whoa, you got cards jumping like a water sign. Yeah, the Nine of Crystals, you may have recently become single um, as a result of this. If you were in a relationship, um, maybe if you had somebody that you thought was going to be a good option for you, they've illuminated themselves as not a good option. I do feel, though, because of this Nine of Crystals, like this injury, this hurt, this betrayal has hurt you deeply. Or this, like, I don't want to be bothered with you anymore, and now you're single when you thought you were going to be with this person. It's really, like, this one really tore you. Yeah, and you were um, really, like, looking for a long-term commitment with the potential, like, family. Like, you were really close with this person with the Six of Cups. Um, with the Knight of Crystals, if I was reading this, which is like the Knight of Pentacles, if I were reading Reverse Energy, I feel Reverse Energy. I feel like there is some recklessness here on both parties. There was just a reckless rush. And now with the Five of Cups, this is very overwhelming for you right now. Um, you were quite passionate and thought that they or you were going to make the passionate decision with the Two of Wands for each other. But also, Spirit is asking for you to gain a new perspective on the reason why this relationship wasn't right for you and it did not work out. Gain some new perspective. Go within before you go without. Go within and learn the lesson. Um, and with the High Priestess, it's just like you didn't even listen to your own intuition. All the signs, I'm hearing all of the signs were there, all of the, and, the, and then we've got the Queen of Cups right behind it. So as if you just like really needed more confirmation, all of the signs were there that this was not the right thing to do. If this was a relationship, if there was a partnership, this still, this is some sort of interpersonal relationship that, that has ended here in February. And, um, and now you're coming into March going, what the, you know, what am I going to do? Um, I really put all my eggs in this basket. I was really, really into this person. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do? Um, and Spirit's like, I've been trying to tell you. you. It's been on your intuition. You've already known this was not the relationship for you. And yet you pressed forward. And I tried to show you that there were secrets and there was crap. And there was things or this was the, not the business partner for you. Again, secrets, crap, things that were behind the scenes. And I tried to show you, but you wouldn't listen. And now, unfortunately, I had there had to be an actual removal of this person out of your life so that they would not interfere in your overall purpose. What to watch out for and potential issues. The lover's card. So let's see what that is all about. Um, again, here's this person again that you thought was the soulmate. 
or a soulmate business partner, somebody that was supposed to be in your life for forever, and guess what they're not? And guess what they're not? In your life forever. And spirits, like I tried to tell you, with the Ten of Swords, please do not stay burdened. Like that whole thing is over. It's time to talk to yourself in a new way. Remember this oppression. I, I'm feeling like some of you potentially are getting, um, could potentially end up being a little bit depressed over this. You're coming into this um, energy, um, into this month with some, or it's coming at you, right? Just this realization. It could be a little depression. Please watch out for that. Please watch out for that. Um, so please, please, please spend time meditating. If it's really, if it is like a clinical depression, go see a counselor about it. Go talk to somebody about it. Um, but honestly, like, I'm also feeling that you've got to take some accountability for not getting out of the partnership, relationship, situationship. Um, with the Queen of Crystals, there could be a Virgo involved. Or another earth sign involved in this situation. But I feel like this person, whomever this was, that you feel may have interfered in the situation or whatever, um, this was always the main focus of this individual that you're falling out with or that you have fallen out with. It was always their fo main focus anyway. It was not... It was never going to be what you thought it was going to be um, to the fullest extent, okay? Business or friendship or relationship. What's going to help you overcome this is the sun. So listen, what's going to help you overcome this is that whole, like, you can never kill me attitude. Like, I will get up. I will survive, right? The whole Gloria Gaynor theme song. Like, that is what's going to help you get through this time that energy you right now you're feeling very left out in the cold with the five of crystals and spirit saying actually i need you out in the cold so that you can hear me and pay attention to me yep you're overwhelmed with the five of cups that's the second five let's get on out of this guys like it's time to like start the healing process and be real with yourself yep here we have the moon. So it's really time to look at those deep, dark secrets that you've been holding within yourself and that you would like not have not been willing to admit to yourself that these are issues that you have. Admit them, move on. Like really examine yourself and say, why do I keep putting myself in these situations? Why do I keep allowing people to do this to me? Or why do I self-sabotage myself? Why do I enter into relationships, partnerships, or friendships that are toxic for me? And that they never appreciate me and, and everything that I can do and have done. Why? You have to know why. You have to really examine yourself and figure it out. So that you can put the sun. Now here we have the sun and the moon here. So you can illuminate it and then eradicate it, right? Illuminate it, heal it, let it go, like let it go like a balloon, like a helium filled balloon and let it just drift away and in its place, put all that wonderful love and light because really the outcome for the month and the advice for the month is the universe, which in this deck is the world card. Let the chapter close, like use this energy from Mercury retrograde in Pisces um, with the new moon and the full moon, let the chapter close. This is a very, very powerful manifestation energy. Very, very powerful manifestation month. This is the month where, you know, we're preparing for the the um, spring, um, the equinox, right? We're, we're the solstice. We're preparing for that. Spring is about to start. And here we have the Ace of Crystals. There's some brand new, very abundant, very prosperous beginnings coming at you. And you've got to allow the chapter to close and stop trying to hold on to something that was never meant to be. I keep hearing it. It was never meant to be. Because otherwise, really, what you're doing with the Seven of Swords is you're stealing your own birthright from yourself if you stay in this garbage. I, I, you know, I don't like being necessarily so straightforward, but I have to be. You are literally stealing your own birthright. You're stealing away your own prosperity. You're stealing away your own like life purpose from yourself and fulfilling it if you stay in this garbage. 
have some king of cups energy like love love from a distance in other words love aloofly love from a standpoint of man i gotta stand in my truth and be truthful like dads their love is like they're not like a mama's love a mama's like oh i understand eh, you know right like we make excuses sometimes i mean i do so you know i'm not the only one out here that makes excuses for their kids from time to time and has to be reminded that that's not right okay we all do it but and you'd be lying if you said you didn't but dads will love you fathers will love you but they'll still like be all in your biz and they'll say hey you know what you screwed up here here and here I love you still, but own it. You got to own your script because we can't fix and clean up the mess until you own your stuff. That's probably the theme of this whole thing is own your stuff and like dust your shoes off, honey, and move on. Shake the dust off your feet, beloveds, and move on. Okay? Because you've got a lot of great things coming to you and there's a whole brand new chapter as we are coming into the beginning of the zodiac calendar and into Aries season. All right, that is what I have for you today. Um, please again consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please check out my um, website, heartofinspiration.net, where you will find the ability to sign up for the Propel into Purpose um, spiritual workshop coming up April 12th through the 14th right here in Madison, Wisconsin. It is very reasonably priced for the all-inclusive except for transportation. You got to get here. It's going to be a powerful, powerful healing and propulsion moment in time. Um, and then also if you wish to work with me in any capacity, Reiki, energy work, readings, coaching, all of that information can be found on my website, heartofinspiration.net. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you, Aries. Namaste. Bye-bye.